This is it. In North America, this is the largest expanse of tall grass prairie, and, and we're slowly losing it. Of course, the tall grass prairie, you know, about four to five percent of the original tall grass prairie remains. Most of it's here in the Flint Hills. Um, and if you take drives, you, you really get the misconceived idea that there's plenty of it left. Uh, but you got to remember, this is the only place in the world that it's at. And within an hour or two, you can drive almost throughout its entire boundary. Uh, but these grasslands are important for our croplands. There's no doubt about that. The, this carbon that is stored in those grasslands over hundreds to thousands of years, the corn, the wheat, other crops, soybeans, will use that carbon stored in the soil. I mean, that's why grasslands are wonderful uh, uh, croplands. We all like to eat, we need a lot of food, uh, but we just can't simply create more and more croplands. We gotta take those croplands we have now, manage them very nicely, make them more productive, more better breeds of crops, so we can feed more people on less amount of land. People say, well, that prairie is just sitting there, it's not doing much. Well, that's not true, because it's filtering our water. The water coming off these intact tall grass prairies are very pure. It's a very excellent filtering system, cleaning system, that we don't have to pay it, we just have to take care of it. The grasslands is the nursery. That's where the young birds are born, where they're raised, and if they're having restricted grassland sites, uh, you're just not gonna get those birds reproducing at the rate they used to. You start chopping up this grassland into smaller and smaller piece, that fragmented grassland is not gonna be able to support those birds. Their numbers are really going down at a very alarming rate. And so one of the things we're trying to do at Kanza is trying to figure out how can we take that cropland back to a prairie. You know, we've taken that soil, we've plowed it year after year, we've really homogenized it, we've broken up that soil. And according to some of the results and some of the modeling, we think it's gonna be 100 to maybe 150 years before those soils will get back. And whether we'll ever get it back you know, to its original state. There's a lot of uh, debate out there whether we can, which to me is why we should not convert any more grassland into croplands. We think we can restore them, but we're not confident we can. <laughs>